Hi, I'm Aubrey with MoveSpring. Today, our team is excited to walk you through creating your own custom map and milestones using the MoveSpring Racetrack Creator. Before we begin, let's cover a few basics. Custom racetracks can only be used with the virtual race and group virtual race challenge modes. Virtual race is a challenge mode in MoveSpring that allows you to set an individual distance goal for each participant to aim for during your challenge. Participants will race along the map path shown here and will unlock milestones along the race if you've chosen to include them. For example, here's a milestone that I've recently unlocked. I can also scroll down from here to see a list of all the milestones for this map. If I select the leaderboard view, I can see a ranking of participants based on total distance synced into the challenge. I can also toggle to see other metrics such as total and average steps. Let's go back to check out the group virtual race. This challenge mode is similar to virtual race except you'll be setting a group distance goal for all participants to work towards instead. I can see a preview of the map and our group progress here, as well as where I'm currently ranking on the leaderboard. I can select view map to open a full view of the map, and I can scroll down to see the milestones that we've unlocked together so far. I can also swipe backward on the map to see those same milestones along the path. When you use the Racetrack Creator, you'll be able to customize the map scenes I'm swiping through here, and you'll also have the option to customize your own milestones for participants to unlock during the race. If you'd like to use a MoveSpring map and only customize your milestones, you can choose to do that as well, all from the Racetrack Creator. To walk you through how to create your own map and milestones, I'll let my teammates Anna and Natalie take it from here. Hi, I'm Anna with MoveSpring. As Aubrey mentioned, I'm going to walk you through uploading a custom map with the MoveSpring Racetrack Creator. Once you're logged into the Admin Center, select the Challenges tab. Toggle to the Custom Racetracks page and select the blue Create Racetrack button. This will bring us into the Racetrack Creator. Once you're here, you'll see that you have a few settings to choose from. Select Edit to choose a racetrack type. From here, you can choose a map from the MooSpring library, which requires that you upload custom milestones, or you can choose to upload a custom map with the option to include custom milestones if you'd like. For the purposes of this video, we'll show you how to upload a custom map with custom milestones. We'll leave the toggle to include milestones on, and then we'll need to enter a racetrack name. This name will only be visible to you in the admin center, so choose a name that you'll remember. Select Save, and we can now move on to the next step, our map. Select Edit within the Your Map section to begin uploading a map. This will take us to a page where we'll upload our map using individual scenes. As you can see here, a minimum of three scenes is required when creating a custom map. Any additional scenes are optional, and the maximum number of scenes you can include is 12. We'll select the gray upload button for each scene to upload an image. Each map scene appears at 750 pixels wide by 872 pixels tall in the app, but you'll be able to crop the image to fit as needed. 
I'll crop this image to fit. Click Save and click Upload. Now the image appears as seen one. Upload each image one at a time in the order that you want them to appear in your map. For example, scene one will show as the first panel in the map, followed by scene two, then scene three, etc. Upload each image individually until you're done. I'll go ahead and upload scene two. and scene three. If I make a mistake and I need to edit or delete a scene, I can easily do so by selecting either the pencil icon here to edit the scene, or by selecting the trash can icon to delete the scene entirely. I'm only uploading these three scenes today, so now that we're finished, we'll click save to return to the main screen. Now that we've uploaded our map scenes, it's time to pick a path. Select the second edit button here to select a path. Scroll horizontally to view each path option. Select a path to preview how it will appear on your custom map. Select Save once you've picked the path that you like to use. Now that we've completed our map, it's time to upload our custom milestones. My teammate Natalie will walk you through those steps. Hi there, I'm Natalie with MoveSpring and I'm going to take you through uploading custom milestones with the Racetrack Creator. As a reminder, Milestones are checkpoints placed along your virtual race path. When a participant or group reaches a milestone, they'll unlock content related to your virtual racetrack theme. As a best practice, we recommend including at least one milestone for every map scene you've uploaded. If you'd like to include additional milestones, you'll be able to upload up to 20 milestones per racetrack. Each milestone features a title and image with options to add a description, embed a video, or even include a company logo. When you customize your own milestones, you'll also be able to choose each milestone's placement along the map path that you've selected. For today's racetrack, we're going to create three milestones for participants to unlock. To get started, select the edit button within the Your Milestone section here. Next, you'll select the green Add Milestone button to get started with our first milestone. We'll first need to set the location of our milestone along our path. Each milestone location will need to be entered as a percentage between 1 and 99. If you're planning to include one milestone per map scene, we suggest dividing 100 by the number of map scenes you've uploaded to help determine where you'll want your milestones to go. For this racetrack, since we have three scenes, we'll divide 100 by 3 to get 33. This means I'm going to need to place my first milestone somewhere between 1 and 33%, my second milestone between 34 and 66%, and my final milestone between 67 and 99%. Let's start out by trying 15% and see how that looks. I'm going to adjust a bit to 17% since I think that might look a bit better. Now that we've settled on our first milestone location, we'll enter a milestone title here. Next, you'll choose a required milestone image by clicking the blue Upload Image button. 
each milestone image appears in the app at 750 pixels wide by 460 pixels tall. But just like your map scenes, you can also crop each individual image to this size before uploading it to the Racetrack Creator like I've done here. If you'd like, you can include an optional description, video link from YouTube or Vimeo, or a company logo for your milestones. I've decided to include a brief description on Portland in my milestone body. Next, you'll see the option to include a video link. I'm going to click on this checkbox, and then I'll be including a link from YouTube showcasing the 10 best things to do in Portland. Finally, you'll have the option to include a company logo by checking this box here. Just like your milestone image, you can crop each logo using the file picker. When you're ready, select Preview Milestone to see how your milestone will look in the app. Once you're happy with this preview and ready to move on to another milestone, you'll want to close your preview here and then select Save Milestone. Repeat this process by clicking the green Add Milestone button for each subsequent milestone. Please note, you must have at minimum one milestone and at maximum 20 milestones. For my current map here, I'm going to include two additional milestones highlighting Chicago and Austin. So I'll add those in and we'll catch back up to you once I'm finished. I've just finished uploading my three milestones. From this point, you can click on the milestone itself anytime to edit if needed. Just remember, when you're done editing, make sure to click this blue Save Milestone button after making any edits. You can also delete a milestone if needed by clicking the trash can icon here. Once you've completed all of your milestones, select the blue Done button. If you're happy with your racetrack, and you're ready to use it in a challenge, select the green Publish button to set your racetrack live. Otherwise, you can always save and come back at a later time by clicking the Save as Draft button. Once you publish a map, you'll see a message that your racetrack is now live and ready to use. Now that you've published your racetrack, you'll be able to use it in a challenge. To get started, select the blue Create Challenge button to return to the Admin Center where you can create a new challenge. First, you'll have to fill in your challenge details, including challenge title, challenge description, challenge image, and your challenge dates. Once your settings look good, click on the green Next button to proceed to Challenge Modes. Scroll down to select either the Group Virtual Race or the Virtual Race Mode, and then select your new racetrack from the options that appear. When your challenge starts, you'll be able to see your selected map and milestone options. If you'd prefer to preview how your racetrack will look before running your challenge with your organization, create a test challenge first. Your goal can be about one mile, for example, so that you can preview the map and all of your milestones beforehand. Remember to set the challenge to private if testing so that only you can see the challenge for now. We hope that this video helps you as you create your own custom virtual racetrack. If you have additional questions, please visit help.movespring.com. And from all of us here at MoveSpring, happy stepping.